friends, welcome back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. Today, we are going to have some fun with Skittles. We are going to use the process or technique called chromatography, separating pigmented colors in candy or in markers or anything that has colors like leaves and you want to separate the colors, you can use this process to see what colors make up that one particular color. For instance, what colors make up this orange? Is it just one layer of orange? Or did they make the orange with multiple colors? Or what about the red? We're going to test and find out. And then we're going to do a second test where we're going to use a marker. And we're going to see if this marker, the ink is just black, or if it has multiple colors in it. If you're interested in this, guys, you need to stay tuned because we're going to have some fun doing chromatography. All right, step one. We're going to put purple and green Skittles in our little wells. And we're just going to take some plain water and put a few drops. Not much. We want the color. All right. Then we're going to take two toothpicks, one for each color. And just stir that around to so get as much color off of that Skittle that you can. You don't want much water, so let's do the purple one. After I do the first one, I'm going to take three more different Skittles, three more purple, three more green, to see if I can get more color off so we can have enough pigmentation so we can see the process to see it separate. Okay, now that we have our color in the wells, I marked a line on the coffee filter about a half an inch from the bottom. And we're going to take these two colors and put on the line of the filter. So I'm going to take some of the purple Add. Then I'm going to move over to the other part and add green. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to continue to add more of the color so we can get a good example to look at. So the next step I did was I went on and put the color on the coffee filter. I taped the coffee filter onto the spoon. Now we're going to take our clear cup. We're going to put our filter on with the pencil and decide how much of our solution we're going to need. So you just want it to touch the tip of it. So now we're going to pour in our solution. And now we're going to place this in. Let's see what will occur. Now, when you see the water moving up the coffee filter, this is called a capillary reaction, meaning that it is moving up along the way. 
And as the water is moving, it's separating the colors into pigments and we can see what colors are in the green and in the purple as they separate. Now looking at this, it looks like green is green, maybe a tinge of yellow, and purple, maybe a little pink, is separating from it. We're going to let this sit a little longer, and then we're going to come back to it at the end. While we're doing that, next we're going to test out the marker. I'm going to go through the same steps. Let's test this out. Oops, I need a little bit more water. All right, there we go. All right, so we see our capillary reaction again. Now, sometimes when we think of a black marker, we think it's just black ink. But look at that separation. What colors do you see now? Wow, we see blues, we see reds or pinks, sort of purple as it continues to separate we will continue to see the colors remember chromatography is the process for separating separating the pigments now when I taught a uh, crime scene investigation and we talked about chromatography if someone left a note and you wanted to see which pen wrote that note, you could use the process of chromatography to determine which pen. As a matter of fact, I would tell you to get different markers from different brands and use the black, or you could just test the red, test the green, and see what colors are in that particular marker by separating the colors using chromatography. Okay, so let's look at it again. It appears the two candies I selected have one dye in it, purple, and the other one has green. But I want you to test the other Skittles to see if there's more than one dye in those Skittles. Also test the M&Ms to see if there's more than one dye in those. Now, with our marker, look how it completely separated. We have several dyes in the black marker. And the pigment, the pigmentation has been separated into blue, orange, yellow, pink, beautiful colors to make one color black. So remember, friends, save some of that candy and test out to see if there is any pigmentation or different dyes in candies that you like to eat. Try out those M&Ms, try out those Skittles, and let me know what you come up with. Also, 
why don't you test it on maybe a paper towel or test using chalk. There are different methods that you can use. You can also get different color leaves and remove the, the dye or the pigmentation from the leaves and then test those out. The biggest thing, guys, is that you get a good enough sample so that you can see it separate. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you try chromatography out. Have a wonderful and great day.